complaint has been filed with the Attorney General of the U.S. State of Maryland Investigation Department to look into possible misappropriation of charitable donations by the Amazonia Foundation Incorporated of Southern Cameroon. Christmas Ibini explains why he wants the foundation investigated. I'm filing the complaint because uh, our community has been torn apart because of a uh, lack of transparency and accountability on financial issues. And uh, we've been at each other's neck for a very long time and we've become so divisive. Mm -hmm. And uh, we seem to be talking at each other instead of with each other because of the way the leadership is projecting things here. It's like a jungle. And so we need, we need some orderliness because it is uh, going down even and affecting our people on the ground in southern Cameroons. You say possible misappropriation of charitable donations. Uh, what would be your evidence? Well, when I say possible, I'm not accusing anybody for anything. But I know that when you are running a public charity or non-profit organization, uh, donors like myself, um, I was a donor, so I'm only taking the year that I saw some documents uh, that they filed, and I have figures of what they filed in 2018, and I was a donor then. And then there's a project that was brought up, they call My Trip to Boya, which I donated to. So it's something, it's not like a community reporting. I'm taking responsibility because we come from a society where people who have the slightest power, whether it's cultural, political, social, or professionally, seem to function in a way that they don't think they owe accountability to the public. And we cannot bring that type of mentality here. And our, our young ones on the ground cannot be fighting against this type of things that we are fighting against Paul Pierce administration doing it. And we repeat it. We cannot be looking for a new nation that we say is better. And then we go there with corrupt mentality. Since no one seems to have authority to question anybody anymore in our community, I want the state to provide that oversight and to look into it. If there is no wrongdoing, then uh, the case will be closed and then we'll stop really bringing up the issue about somebody having misappropriated funds. By filing this complaint, don't you think that uh, this would be the beginning of the collapse of the, at least the diaspora wing of the movement? I don't think so. I think it will bring more, or the way we are functioning is very, very chaotic. There's just lack of orderliness. And uh, the way we live, if you come to any of our social media groups, you'll see that we are, uh, it's not as if we are fighting for BI. It's just, it's like this revolution is us fighting each other because of the disorderliness. We need to bring some order in the way we function in the diaspora. We cannot live in this country where there's rule of law and function as if we are under uh, Diaz La Republic du Cameroon. That is unacceptable. If somebody has misappropriated funds, then they should be held accountable. It's not about the revolution. The revolution should even appreciate such movement because that's what we are fighting for. Christmas Ibini is a Southern Cameroonian who filed a complaint with the U.S. State of Maryland to investigate the Ambazonia Foundation Incorporated for alleged financial misappropriation. He was speaking with us from the U.S. State of Maryland. Chris Anu is the Secretary of State for Communication of the self-proclaimed Republic of Ambazonia and one of those named in the complaint asking the U.S. State of Maryland to investigate the Ambazonia Foundation for possible financial misappropriation. He says Christmas Ibini, the man who filed the complaint, is not even a member of the foundation. I would like to say that Christmas Ibini is uh, inconsequential, irrelevant, attention-seeking when it comes to what he is trying to do. This is a man who does not belong to the group, does not belong to the organization, has made no contributions that we know to the organization, and then he goes on to file a frivolous complaint to the Attorney General of the State of Maryland. I call it attention-seeking. I think he must be suffering from my attention uh, deficit. Now, he files this complaint, and then calls the media, like you, to tell you what he has done. Who does that if it is not attention-seeking? We don't have any issues of transparency or accountability in the interim government. 
of all the groups that are fighting for the independence of the southern Cameroon, James, only this interim government led by Dr. Samuel Sacco has subjected itself to a rigorous audit. So, again, we know where Mr. Ebene is coming from. He is trying to build a leadership that is led by his clan. Unfortunately, if that his complaint ever goes anywhere, he will be exposed for exactly who he is. Chris, here is another allegation here, and that, and that is that the interim government has been very divisive in the uh, southern Cameroon community and creating problems for the revolution. Is this a case of a house divided against itself that cannot stand? Again, James, it goes back to the fact that when people don't belong, they make empty allegations, unfounded rumors, just as the one that uh, Mr. Ebidi is making.